Today we are going to solve an application of the standard normal distribution. Okay, let's go to our PowerPoint presentation. A soda machine dispenses soda into 12 ounce cups. Tests show that the actual amount of soda dispensed is normally distributed with a mean of 11.5 ounce and a standard deviation of 0.2 ounce. What percent of cups will receive less than 11.25 ounce of soda? What percent of cups will receive between 11.2 ounce and 11.55 ounce of soda? If a cup is filled at random, what is the probability that, that the machine will overflow the cup? Okay, let's go to our blackboard. Okay, I prepared here a table that has the area under the standard normal curve. You have here in one column, you have uh, Z value and in another column, we have the area. So for instance, if you have 0 0.008, this is the area under the standard nor normal curve from Z equals 0 to Z equals 0 0.02. Okay, let's go to our problem. So the given of the problem is that the mean number of ounce that the soda machine dispenses is 11.5 ounce and the standard deviation uh, is 0 0.2 ounce. The first question is what percent of cups will receive less than 11.25 ounce of soda? Okay, let's try to write the given. So you have, you have a mean that is 11.5 ounce of soda and then you have a standard deviation equal to 0 0.2 ounce of soda. Okay, the formula for the z-score is equal to the difference between the x data value x and a mean all over its standard deviation. So let's substitute. Okay, the given is 11.25 ounce. Okay, so if you subtract 11.25 minus its mean, which is 11.5, then divide by 0 0.2, you're going to get a value of Z that is equal to negative 1.25. So Z is negative, is equal to negative 1.25. Now, the question is, what is this area? Now since the area under the star standard normal curve is symmetric with, symmetric with respect to the mean are equal, so the area from z equals from zero, z equals 0 to z equals positive 1.25 is just equal to the area from z equals 0 to z equals negative 1.25. So let, let's look at the value of z equals 1.25, positive 1.25, that's 0 0.394. So therefore, this value here is equal to the area under the standard, standard normal curve from z equals 0 to z equals negative 1.25 is 0 0.394. Okay? So, but what we are going to find out, what we are being asked, to find out is this is not this area but the percent of cups that will receive less than 11.25 ounce of soda so that means it should be this area here negative the, those values less than negative 1.25 so therefore this area is equal to 1 minus the sum of the whole thing 0 0.394 plus 0 0.5 and this value is equal to 0 0.106 or approximately 10.6 percent so going back to the problem therefore 10 per 10.6 approximately 10.6 percent of cups will receive less than 11.25 ounce of soda so what does that mean so if you have 100 cups filled by the soda machine, approximately 10 of the 100, approximately 10 or 11, 
will receive less than 11.25 ounce of soda. Okay, let's go to our second question. What percent of cups will receive between 11.2 ounce and 11.55 ounce of soda? Okay, so let's find these values. Okay, so you have here the values between 11.2 and 11.55. So let's first let's convert first these values 11.2 and 11.55. So let's have the z score that's the difference between the x value and the mean all over the standard deviation. So you have 11.2 minus 11.5 okay all over 0 0.2 this value is equal to negative 1.5 so you have here negative 1.5 and the other value the equivalent value of 11.55 its z score is equal to you have 11.55 minus 11.5 all over 0 0.2 then you will get a value that is equal to 0 0.25 so let's find these areas under the standard normal curve okay let's find this 1.5 first let's go to our table so 1.5 okay this is 0 0.433 so this area here is 0 0.433 and the other area is that is z equal to 0 0.25 that is 0 0.099 okay so if you add these two values you're going to get 0 0.43 plus 0 0.099 that is this is equal to 0 0.532 or approximately 53.2 percent so what's, what does that mean let's go back to our problem so f approximately 53 percent of cups will receive between 11.2 ounce and 11.55 ounce of soda so again if you have 100 cups soda cups filled by the soda machine approximately 53 will receive between these two values okay let's go to our last question if a cup is filled at random what is the probability that the machine will overflow the cup okay okay let's convert first we know that the soda machine dispenses soda into 12 ounce cups so we will convert first the 12 ounce into a z-score so you have a difference over standard deviation you have 12 minus 11.5 all over 0 0.2 so this value is equal to 2.5 so z equals 2.5 so what we're going to find out is the area of this region because what is being asked is the probability that the machine will overflow the cup so that would mean the value of the z score greater than 2.5 so let's find first the area under the standard normal curve from z equals 0 to z equals 2.5 okay and that area is equal to 0 0.494 so this area here from z equals 0 to z equals 2.5 0 0.494 so therefore what we are going to find out is this value the difference between 1 and the sum of 0 0.5 plus 4 0 0.494 because this area here is 0 0.5 plus this area here that's 0 0.494 the sum of which you subtract to 1 uh, this is what uh, we're going to find out this region here okay so that value is equal to 0 0.06 or approximately 0. 6% so that means if a cup is filled at random the probability that the machine will overflow the cup is 0.6% so if you have 
a thousand cups filled by the soda machine, approximately six of those cups will overflow. <laughs>